The olive has been a symbol of peace and prosperity from ancient times, as well as a vital provision. There is one place in Japan, surprisingly, that is home to olive groves. Shoroshima is an island in the Seto Inland Sea. Romanian Daniela Shiga is a food researcher. She pursues diets that are delicious, but also life enhancing. She engages with local residents and discovers the mysteries of the island. On journeys in Japan, we explore Shodoshima at the peak of autumn. Shodoshima lies 500 kilometers southwest of Tokyo. I took the boat to Shodoshima. It was a wonderful ride. The sea is so calm. They actually call the Seto Naikai the Mediterranean Sea of Japan. It's beautiful. Uh, but here we are in Shodoshima, and there are a lot of things to discover. So follow me. Yay! Shodoshima is the second largest island in the Seto Inland Sea. Olive trees are a familiar sight here. Olive, olive. I love olives. Yay, let's go inside. Konnichiwa. Ah, steki na omise desu ne. This shop sells a wide variety of olive products from oils and dressings to skin care. These were harvested this year. And olives are very famous as uh, one of the secret foods for longevity people cleaning your body, your blood, your just making you much younger and very fit. Daniela sets off to visit an olive farm with 3,000 trees. Wow, it's so beautiful. So serene, so green. Tomohiro Inoue is the third generation owner of this farm, which dates back 70 years. This is so much fun. I feel like I'm in Greece. It doesn't feel I'm in Japan. It's amazing. Olive cultivation started about a hundred years ago on Shotoshima. Olive trees had been planted in several regions under a government program at the time. But they bore fruit only on Shodoshima, which has a somewhat Mediterranean climate. This 
よかったっていうのがまあ多く言われるんですけどもでも結局はね試験栽培用に受け取った方がね一生懸命その本当に赤ちゃんを育てるように育てたそれが本当の理由だと思うんですよ愛情ですねそうそうそう Only a century after olive trees arrived on this tiny island their fruit has been hailed as some of the world's best thanks to the dedication of local farmers Daniela is going to meet a local artist. Artisan dyer Kanako Takagi is the owner of this shop. She makes use of discarded olive leaves to create original dyes. そうですねあの穏やかな色だと思ってるんですけれど、はい、あのオリーブで染めるとそういうふうにほら穏やかで暖かい雰囲気の色になるので小豆島の雰囲気とぴったりかなと思いましてそうですよね確かにで島色って呼んでますあそうなんですかはいえー、すごい<笑> Takagi was born in Shodoshima, but moved to a large city to work as a natural dyeing artisan. After discovering the beauty of olive dyes, she returned to the island. She has reinterpreted the traditional Temari handball using threads dyed with olives. Her dyes result in pale and understated hues. Long before the introduction of olive trees, Soy sauce production was the major industry on Shodoshima, starting about 400 years ago. The Umaki district is home to many breweries where traditional production methods have been preserved. Nice. 
こんにちはあらすいませんこんにちはこれ何ですかこれはあの醤油を醸造しているおけになりますねこのおけから香りが出るんですねヤスト・フジー is the fourth generation owner of this hundred year old artisanal brewery In here, they're making shoyu. There's shoyu in here in this wooden tar, and it smells so nice from the.、Mm. Daniela looks down on the barrel she has just touched. The brewery uses actually about 120 wooden barrels for producing soy sauce. A mixture of soybeans, wheat, salt, and water are allowed to ferment gradually, sometimes up to three years. So, in this way, we have to make a cooking. We have to make a cooking. Ah, now we have to make a cooking. We have to make a cooking. It's so good. That's the traditional way and the most delicious way to make it. So it's a nice experience. The island's mild and stable weather creates the perfect condition for soy sauce fermentation. The taste is different. It's a very nice taste. あのいろんな食材とのこう相性がすごく良くてあ,のあんまり表に出なくて舌座さえするような醤油ですね、うん、ありがとうございますわー<笑>すごいボリュームたっぷりわあおいしそう These local vegetables, tofu and seafood, are seasoned with olive oil and Fuji's premium soy sauce. And olives, of course, are a garnish. Locals created this dish called Hishiodon to celebrate the best of the island's bounty. This is a mixed ball with so many delicious foods. Big piece of fish. Mmm. Vegetables. That is so sweet. Mmm. I'm so pleasantly surprised how the Japanese people have managed to incorporate the culture of olives and olive oil into one dish that contains traditional shoyu. A plate such like this, it's so delicious. Danielle is off to encounter a different side of the island. The image of Shodoshima. Is beach and seashore, but actually, Shodoshima Island is mostly made of mountains. 13 million years of erosion has shaped the mountains of Shodoshima. The fall foliage peaks in November. こんにちは。こんにちは。何されますか。え、お遍路ですけど。お遍路。お遍路。お遍路は何ですか。
お遍路っていうのはお寺をお参りしていくんですけど順番に。The Ohenro is a pilgrimage around 88 sacred places. On Shotoshima, it has a history of 400 years. Some 30,000 people brave steep mountain paths every year to offer prayers at the temples along the way. <laughs> あ、いいですよ。はい。少しだけ。はい。ロコプリスト、ジクオバヤシ、オケーショナルリーツ、オヘンロー・ピルグラムス。その数の近くに行くと、今すごくこの時期攻撃的になってきて。あの、これ、コマよけですか、この鈴。コマよけっていうか、まあ、ジレって言ってですね、ジリンジリンとこう鳴らすんですけど。まあ、あの、動物よけの。効果もありますね。ど,どのような動物出るんですかこの辺だったらイノシシとかシカとか<笑>ちょっと怖い<笑>あとヘビもいますねあ、本当。はい、いやー大変じゃないですか仏さんに今から、うん。お、お参りしますよっていう合図なんです。あ、はい。で、神様も仏様も普段はこう仏様の世界で情に入ってるっていう瞑想されとると言われるんです。ある意味まあ起きてくださいよと。はい、こっち
Every year, islanders offer a kabuki performance at the shrine to pray for a bumper crop. The event dates back 300 years. Toru Yada, the chairman of a local kabuki preservation group, instructs the children. On the performance day, Daniela goes to join volunteers for the event. They're pressing vinegared rice in molds for bento. You need to push a lot with force uh, and make it really, really compact because the taste will be concentrated inside, so it's much tastier like this. Simmered vegetables and tamago yaki omelet accompany the rice. Since olden times, women have prepared bento for the kabuki event in this way. Very nice boxes, very old traditional wooden boxes with peculiar shape. And they're gonna be probably carried in this wooden box. I've never seen this before. <laughs>。食べながら見る。そうそうそうそう。あ。それこれはヨーロッパでは考えられない。ま、面白いも大事なんだけど、その時しか結構割りごって食べないじゃないですか。うん。このわりごも一番こう楽しみにしてるんですね
Now, the adult actors take over. <laughs> it's time to enjoy the bento at last. Shodoshima has begun. It's a romantic tragedy about a couple that attempts to escape their fates by fleeing to the island. I enjoyed so much my journey in Shodoshima. I love these people because they're calm, they're pure, and they have so much love into their heart. And I felt that in every aspect, the way they protect nature, the way they protect performing arts, and they enjoy it, the love for nature and God and expressing their gratitude. I just had the best time here in Shodoshima. To reach Shodoshima from Tokyo, take an hour flight to Takamatsu Airport. From there, board a bus to the Takamatsu port and transfer to the ferry for the hour-long ride to the island. The olive harvest is in full swing in November. It's an excellent time to visit Shodoshima.